Hello. Um, right. As I'm um, in between projects, I've still got my ultramarines running, of course, and I've got a couple of things to do on them. But I wanted to do when when you do heresy armies, it almost feels like historical. Um, obviously, it is in in the forty k sense, but. Um, you have to I, you have to be so I'm a bit of a, a bit of a, um one of these people has to have the right weapons and everything so everything seems quite strict and um you you want you know I want the right plasma gun I want a heresy plasma gun blah 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 um so you I feel a bit stifled sometimes for doing kit bashes or whatever so to link my night house as I put on a previous video house griffith um I was going for and to link them to the ultramarines, uh, my ultramarines in 30k, I've decided to do a 30k rogue trader, um, and he's going to have a little retinue. I've also got a, um, a flyer that sh which I'm going to be working on. I'll show some videos of that soon. It's uh, using a Star Wars model. I'm going to make um, some kind of um, rogue trader ship, which means it doesn't have to be quite so rigid. Also, with these these guys I'm doing here it's not going to be quite so um, I can go a little bit crazy with some of the conversions so anyway I'll start talking about them first of all I guess we start with the man himself it's a bit of a kit bash using the Scion kit it's a really old rogue trader um, plasma pistol and I got these I was looking around for some real flouncy over the top kind of I don't know, they're, they're quite flamboyant, I imagine. And I think a lot of the Imperial Army were like that anyway, but these guys aren't crazy over the top, um, like in, inquisitory type um, road trader. This is still, uh, this is a noble from House Griffith who's kind of unbeaten in tournaments and wants a, a challenge, so he's, he's uh, got a road trader warrant. Um, I decided to join the crusade, uh, pushing out into the Eastern Fringe and the early crusade with the Ultramarines. So he's linked to the Ultramarines, linked to House Griffith, and it will link my two armies together, 30k. And this will be, he will be like the bridging point between the two. So yeah, these are the man, I think they're called, I can't remember what they're called. They're um, a, a Forge World uh, upgrade kit that you can get for your empire fantasy but if you look at all these ruffles and it's just a little bit over the top I love it really worked for 30k I think so if we, here we have the rogue trader he looks a bit like a noble obviously he's got a really big feather on his head I mean why wouldn't you anyone who's got a feather like that going into battle that's just got to be done and it? it's, it's just funny as a man with confidence, but I think that works. He's not crazily posed. He's kind of quite regal looking, and I think it fits. Anyway, so we got him. Um, I don't know if I should. I think I did show it before. We're going to use this beastman. I think still an abhuman. So, and I quite like him. So he's going to be like a tracker or something like that. And I haven't made a list for these yet, and I'm not even going to bother. I'm, I'm just having fun at the moment. So then we have the um, henchmen, which are using those same models again. But as you see, the the um, Scion kits really work well with it because because of the new Scion armor, it's got a little bit of sort of detail on it, hasn't it? It makes it look a bit more gothic-y looking. But with all these trousers and stuff attached as well, I just think it works a treat. Also, what I've done is on a lot of these, some of, a couple of them have got the feather to the side, but I really liked that look. So what I've done is, that's not this one, it's this one. These are the heads you get with them. So what I've been doing is cutting the feather off, sticking it on the side, and then using the hairdryer, heating it up and brushing it over the top. Just gives it, it ties them all in together. It looks a little bit more practical, of course, but it's, it's still a feather on your hat. Here's a couple of the other ones that I've just 
put the feather on and uh, bent it over the top. It gives this sort of same look to all of them. But I think they look pretty cool. So with the new rules, I haven't got the new rule book yet, the new 40k rule book. I guess the some of the well, a lot of the rules are going to carry over onto 30k. But I know you now you can do a lot of this unbound stuff and that. Hopefully, I can have like a, an inquisitor with some um, scions, and I use these as scions uh, or just henchmen. I've got to look through it first, but what I want to do is get a good feel first. This guy is probably. I don't know if he's going to be a sergeant or not. Just a little bit different. Got an eye patch. Obviously, he's been around a while, a bit more veteran and like. Very thin legs. I've had one couple break on me, so I had to uh, fix those. So that's the henchman. Next up, I got um, some Dead Zone character models before. For my, um, I still got my Elysian um, 30Ks to do, which I might tie in with these. It's like shock troops or something or just troops to tie in. This could be like the retinue for the road trader and the Felicians can be like the rank and file like just use vet as vet guard or something. Um this guy is one of the um dead zone character models but I wanted to do like a Vindicator assassin to go with uh, this little retinue. So this old um RT crossbow, hand crossbow thing, I just thought that looked pretty cool, silent um, Elysian arms the um, Elysian sniper rifle which I thought was pretty cool because it I want them to still look like they can hold guns, I don't like the whole 40k crazy holding a combi bolt in one hand thing this guy looks like it's compact, he can hold it so yeah uh, and also a scion hack Helmet, I thought that looked pretty cool. And oh, yeah, and popped his collar, he's got a collar popped up around the back. But I'm quite happy with that. That works as an assassin for me. Uh, I wanted uh, because of the house Griffith thing, I uh, wanted a uh, Mechanicum tie in. Um, I've done a bit of a conversion on this, I've got a Myrmidon. I just love the models, but um. I do want to do a, and I'm going to do a Mechanicus um, contingent to go with a um, Tech Marine I've done uh, for my Ultramarines. But what I wanted to do as well is I wanted a bit of scale difference in some of the characters in this retinue just to make them look a little different. And he's and they are much bigger. And I really like them, so I just wanted to paint one really. And uh, yeah, so this is the like a Mechanicus emissary. That's the way I'm seeing it, so he's going to be part of the retinue, keeping his eye on what's going on. But obviously the rogue trader will want to keep him close, keep close ties with the Mechanicum, because uh, of the knights. So I'm also going to say that now and again he will, he still has his knight, and he will still get in his knight. I found also found this old cyber hound, I might put it on him, I'm not sure yet. I wouldn't mind getting that... Um, Forge World one, the Arbites Hound, that's awesome. But till then, anyway, the, I know if he was an Inquisitor, I can use um, Servo Skulls, so I might actually just use that as a Servo Skull. So he's like a little prowling, like a Servo Skull type Cyber Hound. Um, what else have I got? Oh, there's another one I've got to put on a base, there's another henchman. Uh, and last of all, there's another Dead Zone miniature. I wanted to do a Jacaro, I just always thought they were quite cool. I don't like the model from GW. It's a bit too cartoony. So this guy is one of the um, Dead Zone Rebs, I think they're called, Rebels. Uh, I just added some green stuff fur onto him. Looks a bit like, uh, the face looks a bit like something from Planet of the Apes. But, I'm pretty happy with him actually. He's come out okay. I might add a little bit more fur to some to make it um, look like the furs are going over muscles. There needs some bumps and lumps in certain places. Maybe more of a pronounced um, V-shaped piece of fur that 
it's going to grow down his back, obviously like a V shaped, just just to break up the fur surface a little. I'm happy with this though, like the longer fur on the ends of the arms has come out okay. It just looks cool, and again, you know, when you when you put him up against uh, the large um, emissary from the Mechanicum and a normal human, there's scale, there's different scales involved, so they really really look like a sort of hodgepodge kind of retinue of different people from the uh, the new Imperium uh, pushing out into the galaxy. I'm not quite sure what else I've, I w I'd really want to get hold of that. Um, the Weekender model, the uh, the Navigator, I think he would work really well in this. I don't want to have priests because I see that more as a 40k thing because there's not really a religious thing going on at this point. Uh, probably going to stick a Psyker in there. So I might even, like a Mystic, a Psyker or whatever. And then fill it out with, with just henchmen with uh, a couple of uh, special weapons. And that's about it really, but I'm I'm really enjoying this project. It's good fun. I'll show you this quickly, the scale properly, because the camera's from above. But I'm loving that. That's great. Look at this little fella. Good stuff. Anyway, there you go. Tell me what you think. Cheers.